Squad, it is fall, and you know what that means, right? Pumpkin, spice, everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine pumpkin spice, which I don't care about, and cereal, which I love, and I'm going to find the best pumpkin spice breakfast that you can have this fall season. But before the Halloween season, because I have a separate video where I'm trying all the Halloween cereals. So this is just for fall, but not Halloween, which can be kind of tricky. All right. Can you even see me? I don't know. I have no one behind the camera. It's just me doing all this, guys. Here's what we have. Pumpkin spice oatmeal. If you live in the South, you may eat grits. Grits are disgusting, and so are boiled peanuts. Fight me about it. Okay, so according to my last take, you couldn't see me. And now I gotta start again from the limited edition, the limited edition Pop-Tarts right here. Pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie flavored. I bet these things are disgusting. Now we've got these pumpkin spice Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes are really good, but I don't know how they're gonna do with this pumpkin spice nonsense going on. And I hope you guys can see me. I'm assuming you can. Oh, Sinead, I get down a little bit lower. All right, I love life cereal. So I'm looking forward to the pumpkin spice life because, I mean, I don't know, why not? I don't have much to look forward to in life, apparently. We also have the Cheerios, pumpkin spice Cheerios, which I have a lot of confidence in Cheerios. All the cereal they make is really good. Even the stuff I don't like, like the peanut butter and chocolate flavored stuff, they, they know what they're doing. Hold on. Special K pumpkin spice. That's a woman's cereal, and I'm a man. Probably not gonna like this. Frosted mini wheats. I'm not a big fan of frosted mini wheats. The only thing I like about them is they have a really high fiber content, so they can help you. You know, I'm still trying to find a good way to tell you guys. Uh, the frosted mini wheats. Frosted mini wheats are kind of disgusting but they're high in fiber. So if you're having issues in certain areas of your life, this is a great way to maybe make things come out a little easier at that part of your life. And last but not least, bare naked granola. This is more of a cereal or yogurt topping, but I'm gonna have some as a cereal and just see how it tastes. Let's get to it. Oh, and before I get started, I have to tell you, Today's video is being sponsored by Nature's Bounty Healthy Hair Product Vitamins. As you can tell, I'm a big user and believer in this product. Thank you for supporting my sponsor. All right, squad, we're going to start with the Special K Pumpkin Spice Estrogen Fueled Cereal. Uh, okay, there's weird chunks in it that makes me feel confident. It's probably solidified estrogen. This literally tastes like Special K. There is barely, which is estrogen, there is barely any pumpkin spice flavoring in this at all. Even the weird little estrogen chunk I showed you earlier, it doesn't taste like anything. This is, this is Special K with a little bit extra sugar and a pumpkin spice box. That's it. Lame. Zero, no, I can't give it a zero of ten. One of ten. Hey, I should have told you this. Every single cereal I'm testing with Fairlife 2%. The reason I went with 2% instead of whole milk is because the whole milk has got a lot of fat in it and I didn't want it to coat my tongue and prevent me from being able to taste the pumpkin spice, which is generally kind of like a passive flavor. Like, you know, it's muted. It's not a very strong flavor. Okay. Oh, now we're trying Frosted Flakes Pumpkin Spice. Ah. All right. It looks just like Frosted Flakes. It smells just like Frosted Flakes. There is the smallest hint of pumpkin spice on here. You can barely taste it. But the thing is, the pumpkin spice covers up that frosted part of the frosted flakes. So they almost cancel each other out. So these almost just taste like flakes, milk flakes. You would think that a tiger would know more about pumpkin spice and fall, but he kind of let me down. One of 10. Doesn't taste like Frosted Flakes that much. Doesn't taste like Pumpkin Flakes that much. It's just flakes. It's milk flakes. Two, two, wait, what did I just give it? Two of 10? I hope that's what I said the first time because that's what I'm giving it now. Okay, I thought I would, am I in the center? I guess. I thought I would change things up a bit. We're gonna go here and try the Quaker Pumpkin Spice Oatmeal. And I'm gonna use milk instead of water because the instructions kind of say milk. But they also say water, but we're gonna go with milk because we know it's better. All right, squad, we're heating up the milk now. 
All right. Ooh. Ooh. Oatmeal so much better than grits. Oh no, it's soupy. Why would they have me make soupy? Half a cup is way too much. Unless you like this stuff, I gotta cook this down. I can't eat this. All right, you see how nice and how this is a little bit thicker. This is much better. This is this is approved. This is approved. Anybody that has their disgusting, you know, the soupy like oat stew or oat soup is disgusting. You're eating it wrong. You gotta make it thick. That's what she said. Oh my God, this smells so good. Oh, oh I can't wait to try it. Ooh, it's still nice and steaming hot. Oh, this is it. This is good. Mmm. Leave it to the Quakers. I tell you what. The Quakers understand oatmeal, and now they understand pumpkin spice. This stuff is the bomb. Oh. This stuff is lit. That's what the kids say. This stuff is lit. Dang! I'm sorry, I forgot to rate this. 10 of 10, I would introduce this to my mother. This is amazing. You have to have this stuff if you're gonna eat pumpkin spice stuff. And if you have the money to afford oatmeal and not the lesser version of grits. Okay, squad, we're gonna, we're gonna get this out of the way. This bare, bare naked granola pumpkin spice. I don't know, we're gonna find out how well bears know pumpkins in the fall. I thought they were asleep by now. We're just gonna have a little bit. It's granola, we don't need a whole lot. Okay, it looks like something spicy. It looks like the, just the color and the texture looks spicy. I don't even know if you can see it from there. It's not important. Ooh, it absorbs a lot of milk. All right, let's get to it. It's got seeds. It's got a lot of stuff in here. This looks high quality. I taste nothing, not even a hint of pumpkin in this. It's good. The ingredients taste high quality. But... No pumpkin. I'm, I'm basing this if it tastes like pumpkin or not. So even though it tastes good, I'm going to give this a 2 of 10 because I can't taste any pumpkin spice in this thing. Now we're going to do Frosted Mini Wheats Pumpkin Spice. Oh my god, they don't want me getting into this. They do not want... Oh my god! Never mind. Oh, it's good luck when you get a double biscuit. All right. I love the colors. I mean, this is clearly orange and white and brown, and I've got milk all over this. Anyway, the thing about Frosted Mini Wheats is you got to kind of let them soak in the milk for a second or two. God, that oatmeal is good. Where's the double biscuit? Where's my good luck? you got to eat the double biscuit. Oh, God, no. I broke the double biscuit before I ate it. That's seven years bad luck. Nice knowing you, squad. I'm probably gonna choke on this right here. Maybe I'm missing something. This tastes exactly like frosted mini wheats. I'm trying really hard to taste. Um. Okay, I think frosted mini wheats are kind of gross. And this is totally failing me on the pumpkin. There's no pumpkin in there at all. Zero of ten. We did it, guys. Something worse than Special K right here. Zero of ten. Don't even waste your time. Zero. Ten. Sad face. Squad, we're going to do some cooking here. I, I don't know if I own a toaster or not. So we may just cook these in the oven because we're really high class. Pop-Tarts in the oven. Anyway, Pop-Tarts, frosted pumpkin pie. These Pop-Tarts fall apart quite easy, but there we go. 350 degrees, baking this sucker. Are these suckers? Whatever. Yep, they look about done. They've been cooking for about 10 minutes. All right, so I've let the oven cool off here for a couple minutes. Ooh. Ah, ah, that's a little warm, but not too bad. Here we go, fresh oven toasted Pop-Tarts, pumpkin spice. Holy cow, that's hot. No, oh, Lord, that's hot. It's a lot of sugar, but it's not too bad. Once you get past the sugary part and get to the pumpkin pie flavoring, yeah, this is good. I give these a pass if you're into Pop-Tarts. I'm not, 
They're incredibly unhealthy. This is good though. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Maybe they taste better on a toaster, but they're less classy, way more classy out of the oven. We, come on. All right, squad, now we're getting to the big guns. We've got the last two cereals left. We're going with Cheerios, pumpkin spice. Ah, let's do it. That's a, not really an Indian fall noise. That's more of a Hispanic noise. Oh, whatever. I like the look. They look, they look orange. They got like this orange, like pumpkin-y orange color to them. You gotta get, you gotta get your cereal all coated in milk. You know, it's in the Bible. Mmm. I knew Cheerios would not disappoint. They, they, whoever their cereal makers are, they always do such a good job of just finding the right amount of Cheerio and the right amount of flavoring. And the pumpkin spice here, you can clearly taste it, but you still have your Cheerios taste. This is an amazing cereal if you if you like pumpkin spice. Oh my gosh, yeah. This so far is the best true cereal. In fact, the only good pumpkin spice cereal I've eaten today. Did I remember to rate this? I'm giving it a 9 of 10 because it's very good. Not as good as the oatmeal, but still very good nonetheless. All right, squad. Last cereal we're going to test. Life Pumpkin Spice Multigrain Cereal. Are you nervous? You're the last cereal and you gotta go up against Cheerios and Cheerios were amazing. We're gonna see. They feel a little nervous. Um, it looks like normal life cereal, nothing exciting. Which doesn't give me a lot of hope. I have a feeling that this is probably not gonna be good. Or, or it'll just be like normal cereal. It's not gonna be like the Cheerios. Wow. Let me tell you something, guys. Be careful what you wish for. I've been wishing all video long. Why the cereals no have pumpkin spice? And this thing is all pumpkin spice. Holy cow. If you love the taste of that pumpkin spice, you are going to love this. This is the strongest by far. And that's even stronger than the heated oatmeal that I had. Holy cow. It's like you're eating a mouthful of spice. Wow. Listen. This is strong. I am going to give this a 5 of 10, but when it comes to straight up pumpkin spice, this thing gets an 11 of 10. It's a little too strong on the pumpkin spice. Wow. Where'd my marker go? Mm. Oh, here it is. So what did I say? 5 of 10? 5 of 10. And this is just going to get like, instead of a smiley face or a sad face, it's just going to get like a, you know, like that kid that's taking his yearbook picture in the Spongebob uh, pajamas. That's how this cereal is. But for the pumpkin spice, 11 of 10. If you like pumpkin spice, the, just the flavor of pumpkin spice, this cereal will blow your mind. Okay, squad, we made it through another cereal taste testing. My favorite, without a doubt was this Quaker Instant Oatmeal, 10 of 10. The flavor, the pumpkin, spice, everything. And it's heart healthy, supposedly. I don't know. This was the best. If you have the time to make oatmeal with milk every morning, right here, do this. The Pop-Tarts, I'll give these a pretty good, these are pretty good. However, Pop-Tarts are incredibly unhealthy. Whenever I hear doctors list things off, you shouldn't eat like processed meat, sodas, etc., junk food. For some reason, Pop-Tarts are literally always named. I don't know what's so unhealthy about these. Probably because it's nothing but sugar and processed flour. These are incredibly unhealthy, but if you're just looking for something to taste all right, these are pretty good. Let's see, what else? Uh, oh, strongest pumpkin flavor right here. The Life Pumpkin Spice Cereal is okay for taste unless you love the pumpkin spice flavor. It's got so much pumpkin spice flavoring in here. They did not hold back. The best cereal overall, Cheerios. Cheerios make such a good product, 9 of 10, but as far as just cereals go, 10 of 10. Absolutely the best cereal for pumpkin spice flavoring. And this right here, the worst cereal I think I've ever had. It, it has all the worst qualities of shredded wheat, which is like the shredded wheat, but all the worst parts of pumpkin spice, which is pumpkin spice, and they get rid of the frosted part, and it's just really gross. It's, it's terrible. It's, it's awful. Any other rewards we can give out? Most disappointing tiger, 
What did you get, a 2 of 10? Yeah. This tiger knows nothing. I mean, it's very unusual for a tiger not to understand fall or pumpkin spice, but Tony, he doesn't get it. Maybe it's because he's an Italian tiger, and Italians, Tony's an Italian name, and I don't know. I mean, maybe because this is an Italian tiger, and he just wants to cook with, like, Italian spices and not pumpkin spices. Um, this granola is a good tasting granola, but it doesn't taste like pumpkin spice. That's why I got a 2 of 10. All the animals really let me down. I'm really disappointed in the fact that animals don't know more about pumpkin spice, fall, and cereal. Okay, so that is going to do it for my pumpkin spice cereal review. I should be holding both of these like this. Yes. If you can, like, comment, and subscribe below if you have had any of these cereals or if I've missed any of these cereals. I'm really interested in seeing if you guys actually liked any of these cereals. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan of pumpkin spice. I don't get it. I don't understand. And really, now that I think about it, pumpkin spice is like a white girl thing. And uh, Special K is a white girl thing. So this cereal is probably, if you're a white girl, and I don't think I have any white girls watching my TV or women in general watching my, just recommend this to white girls. White girls will probably like Special K.